So I came from a family of book lovers, so reading and books and stories were a big part of my life from basically from an infancy on. So today I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite childhood books and stories. Hello everyone, it is Samantha and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am excited about today's video because it's very nostalgic for me and basically it is all of my favorite stories and books from my childhood. My parents both love to read and they encourage us as from a very young age to also read and they always read us stories before bed and you know it's always been a part of my life and it took me a few years to kind of get into liking to read on my own but I definitely always love to hear my parents read me stories and there were several books that I particularly always look forward to or ones that I liked myself to kind of peruse you know little picture books and things because that's what you do when you're a kid so today I'm going to share them with you guys the books that I loved when I was a child so the first two I want to mention I actually had from the time I was about a toddler on and I mean toddler because one I got when I was one years old and one I got when I was two because there's dates inside of them and funny enough this should come as no surprise because they are both Christmas books and I love both of these books like my entire childhood I love looking at them the first one is called Christmas wishes and it's this little chubby board book as you guys can see it was very well loved from the time I was a child and it's this little Christmas book and it shows all of the different little Christmas wishes so it's you know a Christmas time we wish for snow and then for tinsel trees with lights aglow and it has these lovely little pictures in it and I got it from my grandparents when it was Christmas of 1989 so I was a year old so I definitely really really love this little book and I remember looking at the pictures a lot when I was a kid and wishing it was Christmas because I've always loved Christmas guys as you can see since infancy I've been a big Christmas fan so this one is definitely very very well loved the next one I actually got for Christmas for my parents when I was two years old and that is a stable in Bethlehem and it is this little counting Christmas book so it's basically kind of help you know you to count because you're a kid and you're learning to count so you know it starts out over a stable in Bethlehem 12 drowsy doves are cooing and then you know you turn the page and it counts down from there so it's 11 is the next one and it's snuggling in the fragrant hay 11 cows are mooing so it looks like that and it goes through everything that's in the stables I always liked this one which was guarding the fold six faithful dogs are ever alert nearby so I'm a big dog faint lover and so of course I would like this page but yeah I remember really, really liking this book and perusing it all the time because it was Christmassy and as I said I've always loved Christmas the next set of books which also you can see is very well loved is this set right here and it is the Winnie the Pooh pop-up collection and it came in this little like handy dandy carry box and there's lots of tape on it because kids are hard on things <laughs> but the books are in pretty good condition and it's four of the different stories from the Winnie Pooh collection and the first one is Tiggers Don't Climb Trees the second one is Pooh Gets Into a Tight Place Pooh and Piglet Nearly Catch a Woozle and Eeyore Loses a Tail and then inside it's a pop-up book and it tells the story so you turn the page and there's a pop-up on each page and I love this book so much I remember at the time when I got this I don't know how old I was but it was before like reading by myself so I remember thinking that these were so hard to read because there were so many words and I'm looking at it now and it's like this 18 point font and I'm like why did I ever think that was hard but you're a kid but anyway I really really like these ones and I like looking at the poo pictures and I always liked Winnie the Pooh so these were definitely fun little books to have growing up I think a big part of anybody's childhood of course is the little golden books I think everybody had them or at least read them and my childhood was no different and one Christmas my parents got me these Disney classics these little golden books and then my sister for birthdays and Christmases a few years afterwards would kind of supplement my collection but it came with all of the little Disney stories. So you had The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Underwater Adventure, Peter Pan, Cinderella, Lady and the Tramp, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, 101 Dalmatians, Aladdin, which is one of the ones my sister got me apparently when I was five because the date in this is 93, Prince and the Pauper, which is another one that my sister got me and was one of my favorites, Sleeping Beauty, Pinocchio, The Jungle Book, and Bambi and my parents also got me these set when I was also in kindergarten so 93 and I really really like these I remember loving these as I was growing up and I would take them out and I would look at them and they were all fun because they were Disney so and you can see they're very well loved the spines are kind of rubbed off in places but I definitely really love this collection and ah 
Oh, childhood, all the memories. The next book that I got was one that I got from my aunt, and it's one I never hear anybody talking about, but apparently it won an award because it has an award medal on here. But that book is Tuesday by David Weisner, and this is pretty much a picture book, and it is all about what happens one Tuesday night, which is essentially frogs fly. And so it's full of these really wonderful illustrations on each page. And I remember being just so enchanted with this story growing up, and I remember I used to love it when like my dad would read it to me, which was more just looking at the pictures. And then one day the frogs lift off. And I always thought the ending was clever because it said next Tuesday, 7.58 p.m. and the pigs start flying. So it's definitely a fun book. I remember really, really enjoying this one as well growing up. The next few books I had to show you guys are ones that were read to all of my sisters and they're all some of our favorites. So I chose some of my favorites from this collection from when I was a kid because we had a whole set of books that my sister had gotten from one of my cousins when she was little. And then my mom and dad would read them to my sisters and I before bed. And we all had our own favorites and these ones were among my favorites. The first one is Little Cloud by Robert Hallett. And I love this one because my dad would give Little Cloud and Mean Mountain their own voices and I thought that was so cool. But it's all about this little cloud who kind of grows into himself. He wants to go on his adventure and he wants to go and see what's on the other side of the mountain and all of the other clouds warn him that the mountain is mean and not to go anywhere near it. But he goes anyway because he's a little cloud. A mean mountain's a jerk and he tells him to go away and it's just a really really fun book and I remember really liking it because I just thought it was funny and fun and my dad gave the characters voices and that made it even more entertaining so this one will always have a lot of memories for me. The next one I loved was Miss Susie which is all about a little squirrel and how she builds her house in the tree and I loved this one growing up. I remember my sister and I used to play Miss Susie growing up. We used to uh, live across from Filbert Orchard and we used to have filberts that we would freeze and put up and we used to take the filberts and pretend we were Miss Susie because you know squirrels eat nuts. <laughs> That's what you do and it's so cute. It's just all about her and all the little things she chooses to make her little home and how there's all these mean squirrels that try to like push her out and she's like I'm gonna have my own home and they try to destroy all of her stuff and it's very sad and then one day she discovers a little dollhouse and she's like I'm gonna fit in this dollhouse that has everything I could ever want and I just love this story so much. It's such a cute little story and I like Miss Susie the squirrel. The next one that I really enjoyed was a little old man who could not read and it's all about this little old man who's a wonderful little toy maker but he can't read and he receives all these letters from the children and his wife reads them the letters and it just makes his heart all warm and fuzzy and then one day his wife has to go on a trip and so he's left alone and he runs out of food and he has to go shopping for himself so he goes to the grocery store and he just cannot figure out what everything is he tries to go off of what things look like because he can't read the labels and he ends up with a whole bunch of food he doesn't want and he tries to eat it anyway and then his wife comes home and he tells her his dilemma and then his wife ends up teaching him how to read and I don't know I just really liked the story growing up it was very I felt very bad for the guy I remember feeling sad for him because he ended up with like onion soup and tinfoil instead of spaghetti noodles and stuff and it was like the poor old guy but it was just a very cute story and I just remember really enjoying it growing up the next one I love was popcorn a Frank Ash story and it's all about a Halloween party in which this bear invites all over all of his friends and they decide to make popcorn but things get a little messy and they end up with way too much popcorn that they all have to eat like the house ends up just exploding with popcorn at one point like look at that look at that insane amount of popcorn and I love popcorn as a kid which is probably why I like this story but I just thought it was fun plus it I loved fall and winter as a kid and it took place during Halloween so it was very cozy story and the next one I loved which was one of my dad's favorites too I believe was Bullfrog builds his house and it's all about Bullfrog building a house and then one day he gets kind of lonely and so he invites his his girl frog friend Gertrude to come and live with him and it's all about him building his house and how it still doesn't feel quite complete because Gertrude who's helping him and then one day Gertrude goes home and then he's like you know what I need Gertrude. Gertrude is what's making this place a home so it's a very sweet little story and it's just a lot of fun and cute and just Oh, oh the memories. The next one that I really enjoyed growing up was Socks for Supper by Jack Kent and it's all about this little old lady and this little old man who use their socks to get cheese and milk for their supper and all of the hijinks that ensue. I just remember it feeling I don't know just warm and cozy and it took place kind of like in the Middle Ages apparently I've always had a thing for the Middle Ages even back then and I just really enjoyed the story as well and it's not one you never hear anybody talking about. Next one probably one of my all-time favorites from my childhood was Pickle Things. Anyway it goes on with like a pickle ear, a pickle nose, pickle hair, and pickle toes. 
pickle up, pickle down, juggled by a pickle clown. And it just kind of goes on like that. And I remember just thinking it was such a fun and hilarious book. So I remember picking this one a lot because you've got to choose what story you want to hear. And this one was always on the list. The next one that I think is another one that's pretty well known and it was very well loved in our household is The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. It has actually won an award as well. And it's all about this little boy who goes out one day because it is snowed and he wants to enjoy the snow. And we all love the snow growing up because who doesn't love a snow day? And the illustrations are just fantastic. And I remember liking this one because I always wanted more snow than what we got. And it made me feel like excited that it was gonna snow for us. And it was just a lovely little story. And another one that I think everybody should have for their kids because it's just a great story. And the last one is a very famous one. Everybody knows it, made into a movie a few years ago, but it's a classic, how can you not mention it? And that is Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendik. Everybody knows the story, I think, or a lot of people do, and we were no exception. We also had this book, and it was just a fun story. It's all about Max and his imagination. He gets himself into trouble, and then he has to go and spend the night in his room, and he just imagines spending the whole night with a bunch of monsters, and it's a fun little story, and one that we all loved growing up ourselves. All right, guys, those are all of my favorite books from my childhood. You have to let me know if you've heard of any of them, and if you like them or what your favorite book was from your childhood. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, happy reading. Bye!